Like the expenditure approach, the income approach is intended to calculate the value of all goods and services produced in an economy. Unlike the expenditure approach, which starts by calculating all the money spent in the economy, the income approach calculates all the money earned. Sources of income used in the calculation include not only wages, but also profits, interest earned, and rent collected. Wages here include contributions by employers to pensions, retirement savings, insurance, and other benefits, as well as income earned by those who are self-employed. These sources are the income paid to the factors of production, i.e. the labor force. National income is calculated as wages plus rent plus interest plus profits. Combining these various sources of income allows economists to calculate the total national income. Any government subsidies for production or profits are subtracted from this total. To calculate overall GDP, the total national income is adjusted to include sales taxes paid, depreciation of purchased goods, and a factor called net foreign factor income, NFFI. NFFI is the difference between the amount that a country's citizens earn outside the country, the gross national product, and income earned by foreigners within the same country's borders. For example, U.S. citizens' income abroad minus income earned by foreign citizens within the U.S. borders. The equation to calculate GDP using the income approach is total national income plus sales tax plus depreciation plus net foreign factor income minus government subsidies. This sounds complicated, but the equation for net foreign factor income is simply GNP minus GDP. Net foreign factor income is usually significant in cases when a smaller country has a relatively large amount of foreign investment within its borders because there are few citizens who work outside the country compared to foreigners who earn within the country. Conceptually, calculating GDP using the income approach will return the same result as the expenditure approach because all value produced must be accounted for by a claim someone has to that value. The two values calculated from the income and expenditure approaches differ in practice only because of measurement errors. Thank you.